Aloha Loyals. Today we're going to look at online theft and copyright infringement and what you can do to protect yourself against it. We're going to look at whose responsibility it is to track all this, how you can find out if your material is being stolen, and then what to do if you find somebody stealing your material. So let's get going with these quick tips. First of all, what can be stolen online? Think about it. You have articles out there. You have special reports that people paid for. You have your sales copy, which whether you wrote it yourself or you paid somebody, it could be in the tens of thousands of dollars that that sales copy costs. And there are people out there stealing that content or wanting to steal that content, but you're going to catch them today. You have ebooks, you have software. Basically, anything that's digital can be stolen online. But here's the great thing is that in 1998, the Congress passed a act called the Digital Millennium Copyright Act. Right? That gives you the rights to go after anybody online that's stealing your material. And here's the key, is that it is your responsibility as the copyright owner to find those people and then to bring action against them. The great thing is that there are some simple tools that you can use online to protect yourself against major copyright theft. One of the easiest ones is using Google Alerts. It's a free service. Just go to Google, type in Google Alerts. It'll give you the URL. We'll give it to you down below in the, in the post down below at Tribal Seduction. But once you get a, an account, all you need is a Gmail account. Once you have your, your Google Alerts account set up, you just enter in your name, your product name, different things that your products or articles deal with. Use it judiciously. Don't put in 20, 30 different terms because what's going to happen is you'll get an email update every day from Google. They'll send it to you. You don't have to do anything. Google will be scouring the web looking for the keywords that you entered. So you want to just make sure that you're, you're monitoring your most important material. And use keyword terms around your material. Don't use necessarily your product name or your ebook name. What is your ebook dealing with? search for those keywords and set up Google Alerts for that. One of the other things that you can do is use a service called Copyscape. That's copyscape.com. We'll give you that URL down below as well or in the post at Tribal Seduction. Copyscape will go out and scour the web and see if there's matching material out there. This is more useful for sales copy, for reports, anything that has compact material that can be scoured and grabbed from different websites in groupings. So Copyscape will go out and look for similar material or exact duplicate material and spit those results back to you. They have a free service and then they have a premium service. The premium service is pretty cheap. The other thing you can do, and this is a really cool little way to use eBay, is if you have a digital product or a report or something that you're selling, people may be trying to sell it in eBay. And there's nothing worse than having a a thousand dollar or even a hundred dollar course or ebook or program or whatever it is and you're trying to make money off it you've put your hard work into it and somebody else is selling it for five dollars on ebay so what you can do there's some screenshots down below to show you exactly how to do this in the post to tribal seduction but you just go to ebay enter a search based on your keyword term and when the results come up you'll see it in the in the screen shot down below very clearly there's just a little link you can save that search and when you save it it eBay will automatically email you updates every day very simple again free way that eBay can help you so those are three quick ways that you can monitor and watch for copyright infringement and online theft so what do you do though if you catch someone all right well personally I would take them out in the ocean here and tie them to a concrete block or something but that's not always going to be practical right so what are some practical things that you can do first of all who do you go after you can go after the individual the person who is doing the copyright infringing but you're dealing with thieves here so I usually won't start at that place and most people I know won't start at that place you can go after the credit card processor you can approach the credit card processor and explain that they are processing orders on material that is your copyrighted material. The best place to go though is straight to the ISP, the internet service provider, the company that is hosting the website of the offending party. So 
you do that based on that Digital Millennium Copyright Act that I mentioned earlier. And I've provided a, in Word, so that you can just take it and modify it for yourself, a form letter that can be sent to an ISP letting them know that your copyright material is being infringed upon. That's easy to do. It doesn't take much time. You send it certified mail, you send an email copy, and you fax it. It's going to cost you a couple bucks, and that's the first step to take, and that should take care of the issue very quickly. You at least get a response from the ISP because they need to be in compliance with that Digital Millennium Copyright Act. Another thing that you can do is if something is found on eBay, is use eBay's Vero program. Again, there's a link down below that'll take you straight to an explanation of the Vero program, but eBay is protecting your rights as well, your copyright rights. And they make it pretty simple to notify them that if somebody's copyright infringing or stealing your material. All right, so those are some simple things that you can do to protect yourself against online theft and copyright infringement. The resources are down below. Like I said, there's that template letter that you can print out and use to send to the ISP of an offending party. There's a URL where you can locate the ISPs. You know, it's pretty tough to have a URL and go track down who's the internet service provider, the hosting company for this. You've got a URL down below that you'll be able to just use that, enter the URL, and it'll kick back who the hosting company is. And then there's a few other links that we mentioned throughout the video today. All right, so that's how you protect yourself against online theft and copyright infringement. It's something that we all deal with, both in new media and online marketing. Protect yourself, take these basic steps, put them into action today. At least have your assistant doing the, the monitoring on a daily basis or a weekly basis, and you'll be protected at least at a base level. All right, we'll see you next time. Aloha.